So in this video, we're going to talk about potentiometers. Uh, this is the potentiometer that came in the Arduino kit. You can see it's a small blue box with three terminals on it. And, um, and the three terminals are pretty easy to understand. It's a fixed resistor between two of the terminals. And, and that third terminal is what's called the wiper, which as you turn the knob of the potentiometer, um, it moves the wiper from one end of the resistance to the other. So the effective resistance between the wiper and either of the two terminals changes as a function of the knob position. So, so the kit comes with the knob, as you can see here, and it fits in the little hex socket. And so that's turning the knob for the potentiometer. And if you remember old amplifiers or even radios, um, you know, the volume control is the knob. And that's actually, um, at least in the older units, a potentiometer that's part of the circuit that amplifies the signal that goes to the speakers. So you've seen potentiometers before, to be sure. Let's see how this works by putting this in, uh, by bringing out our voltmeter. And I've got the voltmeter here set to ohms, so I'm going to check resistance. I've got the leads in the right holes, and, um, and I've got my little mini clips here. So I'm going to start by, well, first of all, let's show how the ohmmeter works, right? So it's showing OL right now. It means overload. It means it's a very, very high resistance. In fact, it's infinite, right? And if I connect those together, it goes right down to zero. So zero resistance. Now I put these two leads on the two leads on the same side of the potentiometer, and I got 10.83K. You can see the K in the reading there. And if I turn the knob, while it's connected, nothing happens, right? Because the knob's connected to the wiper, which is that third terminal on the other side. So if I move this lead to the third terminal, I'm showing about 5K, which means the knob's kind of in the middle of the, of the, two, of the, of the range. And if I move it all to one direction, I get the 10.8K, we knew from the whole potentiometer. If I move in the other direction, I get zero. So, so that's very simply how the potentiometer works. I'll go back to the fixed leads. I show 10.8K. This would be called a 10K pot, and it's a real typical value for a potentiometer, 10K. Um, and it's extremely useful, and we'll see many uses for that um, in this lab.